let's talk about the best abilities to use in Madden 24. Now, some of these could differ depending on the type of player you are. So I'm going to kind of cover the best abilities for passing, for running, for catching, for defense, all of that. Now, let's start with quarterbacks because they're probably the most important abilities in the game. The most important quarterback abilities are going to be things like gunslinger, pass lead elite, and set feet lead. So you can see here, Josh Allen, he has pass lead elite. Joe Burrow is going to have set feet lead. Jalen Hurts has gunslinger. You want to have at least one of these three abilities on your quarterbacks typically because this is going to allow you to get the ball out quick and fit the ball into tighter windows. Now, a guy like Aaron Rodgers is really good because he has gunslinger and pass lead elite, so he's kind of double dipping here. It's really hard to get to him before he can get the ball off. So under pressure, these guys get the ball off without the prolonged throwing animations. They can also fit it into tighter windows, whereas other QBs, the ball kind of takes a little millisecond longer to get there, which does make a difference between the pass being completed and defended a lot of the time. So if you're an ultimate team player, you definitely want to always try to get a quarterback that can get these abilities. And if you're playing regs, there's six teams that have quarterbacks with these abilities. The Jets, the Bills, the Bengals, the Chargers, the Eagles, and the Chiefs. If you don't have these abilities, it's not like you can't pass, but these are definitely some of the best abilities in the game bar none. Now, another good quarterback ability is fearless. I think Joe Burrow might be the only one on the regular rosters with this. If you're playing Mutt, eventually you'll be able to get QBs that can get this because right now the under pressure and accurate penalties are kind of high in the game, which I think this is a bug. I'm pretty sure. So they could be fixing that. But for right now, fearless definitely will help you have less inaccurate passes. So using the Bengals is actually in my opinion, kind of preferred right now because I get the quick release with Burrow, but also I don't have to worry about all the inaccuracies as much as with other quarterbacks. And the last QB ability we have to talk about, which you can argue could be the best, but I, I still think the velocity ones matter a little more, but it's Hot Route Master. This is one of the best abilities and it always has been since day one when it was put in the game years ago. Patrick Mahomes is the only QB that has it. Usually only one QB on the regular rosters has it. It used to be Brady. Now he's retired, so they've given it to Patrick Mahomes. But in Ultimate Team, at a certain point, you'll be able to get this on a lot of different guys. But this makes it to where you get four additional hot routes for every single position. At running back, tight end, slot receiver, outside receiver. So you can create the most unique plays with a guy like Mahomes or any QB that can get this. You can put whatever routes you want on the field. And every play is liable to be super unique and something the defense will struggle to stop. Now, hey, really quickly, if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subbed yet, you might as well join the family. Go ahead and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of the best Madden tips all year long. I'm trying to hit 100k sub soon and your help will be greatly appreciated. Now, let's talk about running back ability. So probably the best one right now for sure is Jukebox because the Juke move is pretty good in this year's game. I did an entire video breaking down the best ball carrier moves, which you can watch. It's a few videos back on this channel, but the Jukebox makes the Juke move 10 times better. It's probably a top five ability in the game right now. You will fake out defense pretty much every time with jukebox unless you're playing a good user who knows what he's doing and even then some good users can get faked out with jukebox because it's really just that good so you definitely want to have a running back with this if you're a runner you can use it on guys like Saquon Barkley Christian McCaffrey Alvin Kamara has it quite a few running backs have it also some running backs might have what's called evasive which you can see is what Christian McCaffrey has he has evasive which gives him essentially jukebox and spin cycle which gives you faster spins but the spin move just isn't that good so you really just want evasive because it has jukebox so whether your running back has jukebox or evasive both of those are going to be really good for juking out defenders and while we're on running backs another really great ability is one of the best in the game is backfield master which gives you additional hot routes you can also get the additional hot routes with running back apprentice so backfield master just gives you better catching as well but that's not really the big deal the big deal is the hot route so whether it's running back apprentice or backfield master those are also two of the best abilities in the game for running backs because it'll allow you to get Texas routes, table routes, and a couple other really good hot routes that regular running backs cannot get. So it allows you to be more creative in the passing game. And lastly, for runners, the other important ability that you would want to know about is Bruiser, which Nick Chubb has. It gives you more powerful truck and stiff arm animation. So essentially, you're going to truck and break more tackles. And when you stiff arm, you're going to break more tackles. This is a great combo on the bigger backs because you're just simply going to fall forward more and you're going to be able to push people off and get those extra yards. Now, really quickly, I do want to mention that I also have a Patreon page where I post the highest level Madden tips, strategies, and ebooks to help you dominate and win more Madden games. If you want to check that out, the link is below in the pinned comment. Now let's move on to the receivers. They have a few really good abilities as well. One that has been good for a few years now is short and elite, which this is supposed to give you improved
improved catching on short passes inside the numbers but what this does more than anything else is it gets you better route running on most routes in the game it's not 100 percent it doesn't always trigger but more times than not if you have short and elite you're gonna just get better route running for some reason on many routes but especially the inside routes which are the routes where you really want the best route running when you're talking about crossers and posts or short in routes anything that goes over the middle versus man you want to create as much separation as possible slant routes as well short and elite is definitely kind of an ability that is a little bit better than it's supposed to be but there's a ton of receivers that get this and in mutt you can put it on a lot of receivers as well even on tight ends it's definitely a good way to help you have an edge in creating separation another great ability is wide receiver apprentice this gets you four additional hot routes no matter where you're lined up on the field outside or in the slot additionally the ability slot apprentice is also really good because with the apprentice receiver routes the best ones are in the slot you can get additional hot routes if you're lined up outside by the sidelines more so but those hot routes aren't as good as the slot routes in the slot you get a good corner route you get a good post and you get a good crossing route so with wide receiver apprentice if you put a guy like AJ Brown in the slot you can get those extra hot routes in the slot and then if you just have a slot apprentice ability meaning you can't get extra hot routes on the outside but you can get them in the slot that's also good as well because that's really where you benefit is with the slot hot routes now in the regular game nobody has slot apprentice right now but if you play mud a ton of receivers will be able to get this ability and lastly we have route technician and this is just going to give you better route running on anything if you can't get short and elite route technicians actually better because this pretty much guarantees that you have that edge of getting good route running on literally any route that's the whole point of it you're supposed to get separation outside inside up the field wherever you go so the elite route runners like Devontae Adams will have this ability and in mutt there's a lot of people that can usually get this as well I also forgot to mention Slotomatic. This is another really good receiver ability. It's slightly under the other ones in my opinion, but basically this is going to give you good route running and better catching in the slot. So if you don't have a short and elite or a route technician, to me, Slotomatic would be the next best thing. You got a guy in the slot, he's going to get better route running. So for a guy like Debo Samuel, you put him in the slot and he's going to kind of have the same benefit as if you had a guy with short and elite or route tech. You just only can use it and benefit from it in the slot. Now for tight ends, it's kind of similar to wide receivers. Short and elite, like we talked about, is really good. But for them, the apprentice is going to be called tight end apprentice. Sometimes it could be called route apprentice, which George Kittle has, which means he can get extra hot routes even as a receiver. But you mainly want to use him at the tight end spot. So tight end apprentice or route apprentice will give you extra tight end hot routes, which means they get the good corner and the good post route. The post route is one of the best man beating routes in the game. So you definitely want to have this equipped on your tight end if possible. Now on the defensive side of the ball, let's start with pass rushers. For pass rushers, you want edge threat or edge threat elite, which Joey Bosa has. You can see he has edge threat. His teammate Khalil Mack also has edge threat, so that makes them very unique. Edge threat and edge threat elite will allow them to get off the blocks more consistently and get to the QB. Double or nothing is also kind of the next best thing. I don't think anybody on the regular rosters has it, but in Mutt, you can get this on a ton of players. That'll help them shed blocks more consistently as well, but edge threat or edge threat elite is definitely preferred. For linebackers, a really good ability is Lurker because otherwise they're just not good user defenders and you really have to use safeties because safeties can get the good jumping animations to get interceptions. Linebackers will just not get those anymore because they took that away years ago. However, certain linebackers can get Lurker like Fred Warner. I believe Levante David also has this, which makes them more like a safety when you use them because they will get those good animations. Now for the secondary, there's a bunch of good abilities. You've got things like inside shade, which is going to be really good in man coverage. Also, one step ahead is another ability that's similar to this that Jalen Ramsey has, I believe. If you play man coverage, things like inside shade and one step ahead are going to make you play more sticky man defense, and it's going to be very hard for receivers to get open. Also, you've got knockout ability. So you can see Marlon Humphrey has a short route KO and a deep route KO. That means on short and deep routes in man coverage, if he's near the receiver and he's able to like put hands on him, there's a good chance he can knock the ball out. This was really overpowered last year. I think they did tone it down a bit this year, so it's not as crazy, but this will give you the ability to get more stops on defense because even if a receiver is open by a yard or two, with this ability, if the cornerback's near them and they make a hit or a tackle, you know, there's a decent amount of times where they will actually drop the ball and it'll be incomplete. The same thing goes for zone knockout. So Tredavious White has deep out zone KO. So if he's on the outside of the field in a deep zone, like a deep third, a deep half, a deep quarter, and he's near the receiver and he makes a play on the ball, he makes a hit after the catch, there's a good chance they're going to drop the ball because he has a knockout ability. Now also, he's got two other great abilities, which are the other good secondary abilities. That's Acrobat and Pick Artist. These are going to just give you more chances to get interceptions. Pick Artist is going to make it to where you don't drop easy picks as much. I'm not sure how 
good it works this year. Last year, it was absolutely necessary. This year, I don't know if it's hit or miss yet. I haven't really played enough, but usually you're going to be better off having pick artists than not having it. And then Acrobat's just going to allow you to get more diving swats and interceptions. So even in situations where it might look like they can't make a play on the ball, they can sometimes get a crazy dive or just really lunge out for the ball better than other corners and make a play on it. And for kickers, there's some really important abilities too. Zen Kicker is amazing because it gives you a slow kick meter on kicks over 45 yards, which means when you have to make those big clutch game winning field goals with a guy like Justin Tucker, the meter is going to move slow. So it's almost impossible to get bad accuracy. He also has clutch kicker, which isn't as good, but it is pretty useful because this makes it to where they can't ice the kicker. So if they call a timeout late in the game on a go ahead field goal, they'll usually give you the weird camera angle and you can't really completely see your kicking arc. Well, with Clutch Kicker, that is not the case. You can see it and you have the same camera, so you're just immune to being iced, which is also really good. Now, if you enjoyed this video right here, make sure to check out this video where I show you the best ball carrier moves in Madden 24 so that you can break ankles in the open field.